Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video, we're actually going to open up some more Evolving Skies. I had a lot of fun with the last box, and then um, everybody was telling me it was a bad box. You know, I didn't, I didn't get a hyper rare, secret rare, or an alternate art, but you know, I still pulled three regular full arts, and then was it four regular arts? Which isn't too bad. Let me do it like this. Boom. We're still going through extra codes uh, that have been given to the channel. Thanks to all of you who have done that. Uh, I forget to show them sometimes. But also, I'm going to show you guys before uh, we get to the opening. Uh, just a reminder, the auctions are ending tonight. You know, this one has surprised me. It's over $6,000. It is a beautiful box. I mean, it's heart gold, soul silver, base set. But we do have the jungle first edition, fossil first edition, and lots of other cards. I think the, the one thing that had the most... Watchers was the PSA 9 Gold Star Pikachu. So that kind of surprised me too. Um, also, before I get into the Evolving Skies, I just want to show you guys a little stack of something that I have. I just kind of set these back here and there, and it's really grown. Now, these are not square cuts. These are not ribbed. These are not any kind of like other error other than miscut or like OC. And what spurred this on was Trey, my nephew, Poke Bay. He had actually pulled a Lycan Rock that was super OC, and uh, that well, it was actually miscut. Like you can see right here, and how far it shifted. Like ones like this, uh, it's got the print dot, but it actually shows part of another card. A lot of times, if it shows another card, then it's considered like a miscut. Uh, these right here would just kind of be like the off center. You can see them there. Some of them are in different languages. You can see there, there's Mr. Mime, got a pincer. Usually it's just shifted in one direction. Sometimes it's more than one direction. Got Articuno. There's a lot from Team Rocket right there. I think this one. Put these in here. Actually, see where it didn't cut that great. It's kind of tilted. Got a Pikachu there. Got some Base Set 2 energies. A lot of times what people do is they look for the printing dot. If you can see a printing dot, then you know it's all pretty, pretty good. This was in one of the. Uh, the collection boxes and I saw it right up front. Got a beast bringer. And some of these are pretty bad. I'm gonna we'll get to them. I've got a pretty decent stack. Cause like I said, anytime I open up product, you know, if I run across these, I just set them back. I used to sell them on the spot. And you can see those, they've got like you know, a whole other card on them. Um, if I go through a theme deck and see it, you know, I'll do the same thing. Been through lots of collections. There's a guy, you can see all of these have, you know, another card on them. Reggie Giga God, who has all kinds of crazy miscuts. Uh, for the most part, mine pale in comparison to what he has. I had a lot of these Mewtwo decks I was opening up from the Battle Academy. <clears throat> and there were several cards like Mew and Espeon. You see right there showing a different card. Japanese is usually uh, pretty rare to find. Houndor. Drowsy. There's some uh, glossy Mewtwo's. Unfortunately, with the promos, it's a little bit more common, and it kind of throws off the grading, which is unfortunate. There's Pikachu, there's Eevee. You see this Dragonite actually shows another card. You see it better on the back side. It's right on, Dragonite. You see how little the edge is on this side. Here's some Energies, a bunch of those. You see they're showing two different cards. Switch, I think that Charizard's Tilted, Regirock. These are only slightly off here, you know, not too too crazy. But I throw them in here anyways, because a lot of times if they're off, you know, you're not going to be able to get, you know, that high grade that you want anyways. I think maybe in time I'll get, you know, some of the stuff graded with the place. Like CGC, I like the fact that they don't let the, like, if you label it as something that's off-center or miscut, uh, it doesn't kill the grade like it does with the other companies. Which makes sense because it's, it doesn't really affect the condition and it's a factory type error usually. Dark Arbok, you see how big the bottom is. Canine, Butterfree. Some of these don't look too bad. And I've actually got several that were really bad that I'd sent off to be graded. You guys that saw those. CGC, they graded some, didn't grade others. I've got a big stack of square cuts. Square cuts are just about as common as miscut cards. Weedle, Psyduck, some base set, Bell Sprout, Eevee, part of that, that Eevee's not even showing. I think if 
I turned them around backwards, yeah, they were centered on the front, but then the back side was off, which is really cool when you see that happen. There we go. And then this one, it's upside down and miscut. So it's centered really nicely on the front for the Mewtwo. What's going on, Priscilla? Oh, you can see a little bit more on the back side. There's some more of that Battle Academy stuff. Got some square cut. It looks like I did have a few square cuts in here. Code cards. There's some of those espions and snorlaxes. I wonder who's calling me. Let me pause it. Alright, and we're back. All right, so I'm going to set these things off to the side and we're going to open up this box. I'm going to go a little bit more quickly this time because now I have to, I'm going to have to meet a guy. If I can get this thing open. There we go. I have to meet uh, a Freightliner. Of course, where I live, I can't come down my road. Dirt roads are usually like that, and you've got, you've got a couple neighbors that have trees that basically go out to the road. Plus, he'd have a time turning around back here. We could get we could get it done, but he wouldn't he wouldn't be happy about it. So there we go. We have the evolving skies packs. Make sure there's nothing different on the back. That's the same. All right, here we go. So I, the, the most common comment I received was, man, it was a brutal box, and you know, it, it didn't feel that bad. So maybe it, it's good for you guys to see that you're not, you're, you're not guaranteed a full art, uh, like alternate art or a hyper rare or a secret rare in every single box. Sometimes that's just the way the box, box goes. Now I hope we do get some in this one. I'd love to pull that Rayquaza or like a VMAX Alternate Art Umbreon. Oh, look at that. Galarian Articuno. I think this is one of the cards that's coming in the Build Battle Boxes, right? I believe it is. I'm not completely sure on that. Doing the code card off to the side. That way it doesn't give away everything. But anyways, I still had a lot of fun opening up the packs. I think I'm going to just kind of go through these quickly. Get to that back card. It's a Drampa. Especially since I'm in a little bit of a hurry. <laughs> Not too much. I told the guy about 30 minutes or so. It should give me time to finish this up and then head over there. Got a single strike Vigoroth, Pump Kaboo, and a Smeargle. So far, one hollow rare. Now, I hope that I pull a hyper rare card and it's miscut like the one my. Uh... Oh, look at that. Speaking of the devil. I bet you this is a hyper rare because that's about how miscut trays was. Man, if that's the case, I'm wondering if all of my boxes have miscut hyper rares because, wow, look at that thing. All right, I'm going to set that off to the side right there. I'm glad I showed those, uh, <laughs> those miscut cards there in the beginning. Let's see first before I get too far ahead of myself. Oh, it is a Xenia's Resolve. And then whatever that other card would be, I, I don't have it fully memorized yet. I don't know if this is a good one or not. Draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. You have to discard two other cards from your hand, and it is a supporter. But there we go, that's going to go into the box. We'll save it for the end. Most likely not going to get another <laughs> Hyper Rare now. But we did it. We, like we were just talking about that's really cool. Uh, so I think the one he pulled was like a Lycanroc. Or something like that so and it, it would have been from a completely different case there's tropius so I'm, so I'm wondering if all of the boxes I sold would have that in, unless it just by chance happened to be from the same sheet and so I don't know that's pretty cool though all right let's see if we can get anything else cool in this box there's a thievel we've had two hits so far one Hollow, Galarian, Articuno, and then one Hyper Rare. One, two, three, four. This will know we'll give it, we'll have another Hyper Rare. It'll be given away by the backside. Petalil and an Ampharos. Pulled a Reverse Hollow Ampharos in that first video. Two, three, four. Alright, let's see what we got here. Lillipup, Eevee, and Reddig, Reddidrago? Regig, Regidrago, Regidrago. I think I'm saying that right, but also got a reverse hollow Eevee. I'm gonna put that one there. Stack is 20 less damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Still not too bad with 240 for a basic. And not being like a 
V or V Max or something like that. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah. We're gonna do it like this. Dream Ball, and we got another one. We got a Trevenant V. So we got two. Uh, well, we got one V card, and we got one regular art, and then we got that hyper rare. One, two, three, four. This side of the box is being good to us. There's some energy. Got some trainers, some commons, uncommons, and a hollow right you. Wonder if we're gonna leave uh, much for the other side. This attack does 50 damage to each Pokemon V and Pokemon GX, both yours and your opponent's. Hmm, it's not too bad. I remember uh, that card. It was Rule of Evil, or the card was Weevil, and the attack was Rule of Evil. It was took one colorless energy and it hit all of your opponent's Pokemon for 60 damage. I used to love playing that card. Shopping Center and Gourgeist. I ran that with in the Necrozma deck where it had that Prismatic GX or something where it hit all of your opponent's EX and GXs for 100 damage and it was three colorless energy. Boldor and an Eldegoss. So we fit four hollows already. I guess we are flying through the box a little bit because we're almost through you know, this first half. So I guess that's you know fairly reasonable. Lit Leo, Swoobat, and Garageist. Back when I used to just crack boxes like crazy and sell everything, you could open up an entire box and have it you know sorted into its rarity stacks in three minutes. That's about what it took. Oh, there's a reverse hollow of that. That looks really cool. You got a drampa. But it takes away a lot of the, the fun and opening because you're not looking at the cards. You're just literally, you crack them all and then you sort them really quick. <laughs> that, that was the gist of it. But when, you know, if you're selling everything and you're having to open up cases and cases and cases, you really got to move. All right, Treasure, Energy, Scraggy. And then we have a second one of these. Rigid Drago. <laughs> Reminds me of um, How to Train Your Dragon. One, two, three, four. Wow, that one's uh, off center as well. Maybe it'll be another hyper rare. And it's got a little bit of damage on the bottom. That kind of blows. Here we go. Rufflet. That's a Go Lurk V. But it's uh, just off center enough to where messes up the grade <laughs> but uh not enough to where you're like oh man look at that it's got another card on it one two three four vigoroth zarua and a sharpedo all right so we're through the first half had seven eight cards so i'm hoping we get more than just four from this other half over here be unfortunate if that's all we hit and hopefully they're not all just like regular hollows. Got the floor and Sharpedo. One, two, three, four. Copycat. One of the cards you can't really sell online. Ooh, a Galarian Zapdos. So that's uh we've hit the Articuno and the Zapdos now. Being rock type, I guess that's kind of Kind of goes all right with him since you know you've got Aerodactyl. He does the whole rock type thing. Like that car was a Lulo C. Yeah, look how far down the 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 print is almost off of the card. He doesn't look as OC, but because there's you know you have that down there at the bottom, it makes it look farther off. Ooh, an Espeon V. We haven't seen that one yet. At least not on this channel. I'm sure you guys have. That's pretty cool. Nice that it's a basic and you can hit any V for 60 damage. But then again, if your opponent doesn't run V Pokemon, be kind of uh, obsolete. Have to wait till you build it up for the Super Cybolt. Cy One, two, three, four. Skip Loon, Ribombi, Swablu, and then finish with Altaria. Now. Cool story that Gyarados V Max that I pulled in the first video, I ended up trading to a kid named Blaze at my church, and he was super sick. Oh wow, look at that, Suicune. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your active spot, you may draw a card. Now that's really cool. 
does 20 more damage for each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's. Now that could be uh, very useful, especially if you both have full benches. But uh, that could see some play right there, that sweeping. Very cool artwork. We get four V's. And we have the Moltres as well. So we got Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. Very nice. I like this set. I think they're doing really good with the Pokemon that they're picking. Maybe because I like Gen 1. But putting a little spin on it, I think that's always good. Still uh, working in the newer, newer cards as well. One, two, three, four. I think we're about 10 minutes into the opening part up, so I should have plenty of time now. Oh, Vaporeon VMAX, wow. Well, I will say I think this box is officially better. Man, look at that. I'll take that over the Gyarados. Look at that blue. I love that color. Man, I like that one. Great artworks. So we hit one full on VMAX, one hyper rare. Trainer, four regular V's, and then we fit six, seven hollows. Really good box. Oh, back to back, and we got the Espeon V Max. Beautiful. That is a great pull. I think that was my mom. We'll show all these at the end too. I think this box has to be uh, running pretty low at this point, but we're going to finish out the opening and see if uh, there's anything left. Double Flapple. Who knows, maybe we'll get a Gold Secret Rare or something. Do they have that in this set? I haven't even looked. Or something else like Miscut. I applied to a few more distributors. I know you guys have been wanting more product. And um, it seems like everything I put up right now is just kind of selling out very fast. So I'll try to order some more. I'm, I think with most of the celebration stuff, I ordered 100 cases of, I told them, any product that they had. And we'll just see what comes in because I'm positive that those numbers will get allocated. I'm not like a football Pete or whatever it was on eBay who can sell 5,000 boxes on pre order. No. That was nuts. Well, we were right, and this thing is about ran out of juice. We still have three packs to go. I mean, we hit double VMAX. I mean, what do you expect after that? Anything in this one? Nope. Got a big lift. Two more packs to go. Oh, there was another hollow in here. We got the Entei. Angry Fang and Heat Tackle. Heat Tackle always does damage back. And then the last pack. Oops, forgot to put those up there. It is a white goat card. Maybe it'll be something cool. Oh, it was. We got a Flareon. Wow. We got a lot of good stuff in this one. Number 169. Alright, so in recap, we hit three, six, hit eight hollows, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. And then we hit all of this for the ultra rares as well. We've got four regular V's, uh, one full art V, two full art V maxes, and then we also got a very miscut Xenia's Resolve. So I agree, this box was way better in comparison to that last box, so maybe you guys are right and the pull rates are a little bit different now. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll try to have another one pretty soon. Thanks.